This is a Brawl box type modding tutorial. It's actually utilizing another program to edit models. And it's like a permanent change instead of being an animation uh, manipulation to change the model. So it's um, a lot easier if you're doing a big thing, like if you want Link to never have a shield, this would be an easier way to go instead of uh, increasing the file size of all those animations. So first you'll need to download the automatic polygon deleter version 2.2 is what it's at now. Scleon, very helpful. Uh, you go, this will be in the description. I'm not going to link directly to the download because it will have updates in the future. So just follow this here, download from right here, and that, that will give you this file right here. And you know, it doesn't matter where it is, but put it somewhere you can remember. You'll have this little Mario getting shattered, and it will be the polygon deleter. That's the first step. Now, the second step would be to open Brawlbox. And this is why I said it's kind of like a Brawlbox thing. So you file open. Uh, and then you navigate to where you have your uh, like model packs, like uh, pit 00.pack. See, like this. And you open this. And what we're doing is removing parts of the model, the polygons of the model. Specifically, we will be removing pit's wings. And I just thought this would be the most visual representation of a removed polygon set on any character because Pit always has his wings out. So once you have uh, opened that file, go to the first model data, fit Pit 00, uh, right click on that, export, and put this in the same folder as your polygon remover. And this is important. Save it as file name, model, and then it will be .md10. But it has to be named model. No capitals or anything, I believe. It'll pop up right here. But now, this is also important. You have to have two pieces of information for every polygon you're going to remove. Now, how do you know what polygon is which? If you preview the model on the side of the, just right here, you have the polygons, and if you click on it, you can see that uh, 56 is taking away part of his wing, so it's 55, 53, and 52. So now, Pit has no wings in the previewer, but that's just because we're not looking at them. What we're going to be doing is actually taking them away forever. So, that was 52 through 56. So this is where you're going to need some pen and paper, or a notepad open in your operating system. I like pen and paper. What you need to write down is when you click on this, it will tell you the MDL0 offset, this number right here, and the total len, this number. Now jot down these two numbers in order of offset first without the minus sign. It's just the number, no minus sign. That number first, then the total len. So this one you would write down 246496 three, seven, seven, six, as two separate numbers. And you would do the same for this, 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 and this. Now that you have that written down, you have to close Brawlbox. And this is because you can't edit or save over a file that you're viewing. Everyone knows that it just won't let you because it's open. And you can't edit something when it's open in another program or close it or delete it, which is really annoying. So double click on SSB polygon deleter. It will ask you for the MDL zero offset of the polygon. And as we have that written down, it is 246496. Hit enter. It will ask you for the total len of the poly polygon. That's when you type in the 3776. You hit enter. A bunch of dots will go by. The larger the polygon, the more dots. At the end, it will say done. Hit enter again. And because we have polygon selected, hit enter again. Now go to the second thing you wanted to remove, which would be 250272, enter, 3680, enter, enter, enter. Move on to the third polygon, 253952, enter, 1440, enter, enter, enter. 
fourth polygon, almost there, 255392, enter, and that is 1856, enter, enter, last one now, 257248, enter, 1856 again, I guess. Okay. Now, go back, we have actually edited this file, so go back to Rawbox, open it up, File, open, open that uh, raw model thing, and that's, you can notice that it's just the model, it's got all the stuff. Right click on it, click preview, and as you can see, without, like we didn't change anything in here, look, see these polygons are still there, but they're just not on the model. We've actually deleted them. So you can see that he has, the bones are still there, and until we have a bone removed, which is really kind of useless because if you can't see it, it doesn't matter that the bones aren't there. But now we have a wingless pit. And so uh, this will apply to all your textures though because this is going to be the pack file. But it's still really cool. I mean, you could remove Charizard's wings, uh, maybe everything except for Mario's gloves, make a cool master hand, custom character or something. And so if you wanted to put this back into your file, you would just open and navigate to where you had that original um, model texture. Uh, yes, go to pit, open it, then go to where you have the model, right click, replace, and go back to where you have your edited file. Put that in there. It will be all great with all its texture glory. And what's kind of cool, they have a little bit of, like, I never knew that he was, like, uh, they put textures there. So, you know, like, there's no holes in his back or anything. It looks very nice. And now just file save this, save as. Uh, I'm sure to save it here. Save it as uh, fitpit00. Pack. Or maybe just edit. And I guess actually this would work as per texture actually because uh, it is the zero zero which accompanies a PCS. So it might actually work per texture. Not entirely sure on that. But check for the description and the demonstration. I'll talk more if it's possible for uh, individual texture. But yeah, I hope you uh, learn this. And this tutorial was suggested by Zero Wolf sixty four X. I hope that guy. Got what he wanted. Thank you.